roaming round the shire, smoking long leaves, sipping on beers and ale. Lay back with my mind on my pop with and my pop with on my mind. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to a single lonely smoke ring, which was very anticlimactic. Let's try another one. <laughs> Something that looks a little bit better. Uh, welcome to tonight's Lord of the Rings online stream. Tonight we're going to be talking about farming pipeweed and the various types of pipeweed. There's triple rings. That's what I was looking for. That was a, a much more, uh, it was much, had much more emphasis. It felt better to have three instead of one. So, yeah, we actually showed off a little bit more of the pipeweed there. So, Today we're going to talk about pipeweed. Uh, we did an episode the other day on brewing ales and beers, which for the purposes of roleplay in Lord of the Rings Online are a great way to uh, take your kind of character and have a little bit of fun with it. Um, now for those of you who have read the books, as well as seen the movies, um, Tolkien himself was a pipe smoker and had a great love for tobacco. And there are obviously jokes in... The movies, for example, when Saruman jokes with Gandalf that his love of the halfling's leaf has addled his wits, has clouded his mind, and uh, made his judgment a little poor. Uh, but the the connotations with wacky weed, uh, with marijuana itself, are not actually the case when it comes to the books. Um, when we talk about pipeweed, when we are playing this game, pipeweed is very literally tobacco. And we've got various different types on my person right at the moment. I've got uh, some, let's see here, some muddy foot pipeweed, a variety of pipeweed with an earthy flavor. I've got rush light, which is a poor sort of pipeweed, usually grown in the Shire. I've got south lynch, which is also another poor type. Lobella, which is a novelty variety, which many find distasteful, a play on Lobelia, Shaxel, Baggins, obviously. And then Hornblower, which is named in the honor of the first hop to grow pipeweed in the Shire, Tobald Hornblower. Followed by Sweetleaf, which is a variety of pipeweed prized by lore masters. I also have Galenus, which is believed to be a favorite of the ancient king. Then we get into Southern Star, grown in the South Farthing. And then Old Toby, which is named for Tobald Hornblower. And Le Long Bottom Leaf. Both of these, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, both Ode Toby and Long Bottom Leaf were mentioned in the movies themselves. Um, now, pipeweed in this game, again, is for roleplay purposes. This is something that it's for people who want to add in a little bit of extra to their character. Uh, the cool thing about pipeweed is that. If you look at, for example, the difference between the, the pipeweed that I smoked at the very beginning versus the one I did at the end, the first one, we'll do it again here, uh, has a single smoke ring, and then the other one has three smoke rings, and we'll showcase that here real quick. And that's going to be the main difference that you find between the various types of pipeweed in the game, is that the actual animation of the smoke itself is different. So that's a single smoke ring, and then we're going to try this one which we need to actually interrupt that animation so that it does it properly. I'll try this again. Um, you'll notice that at the bottom here there is a uh, countdown animation here, so the timer is going up. Uh, he's just randomly smoking his pipe, and then he eventually gets to the point where he blows a smoke ring or smoke rings or does something interesting. That one has three, and I don't remember which one of these... One of these has like a butterfly effect. And then you'll get into other pipe weeds that have like ships and, and other strange formations and shapes and patterns and so on and so forth. And that's really what the various types of pipe weed are in this game. Um, it's just lots of different animation types. There's the butterfly one. Three butterflies, actually. So, how do you get the various types of pipe weed? Uh, so, there are several different ways. One of which is to do quests, and various quests 
will eventually lead you to different types of pipeweed that you can only find available through quests. But the vast majority are going to be found through farming, which if we go over here, just like with the brews, the beers and ales that we saw, you'll notice that here in the farmer tab, we have a pipeweed section and I've got apprentice recipes, I've got journeyman recipes and expert recipes. Now let's go ahead and head over to the farm for the moment and we'll take a quick look at that and then we will head out and make our way into the adventures of the evening because I believe if I'm not mistaken my brother is online so we will <clears throat> group up with him here in a bit uh, but for the moment we're gonna do some farming here to show you how pipe weed is made. Now, you'll notice here, let's go into the journeyman recipes. Um, I have enough seed for hornblower fields and southern star fields, but I don't have any seeds to make a muddy foot field or a tie field choice field. And the reason for that is because the seeds to make muddy foot, uh, let's see here, let's talk to my brother real quick. All right, so um, in order to get the seeds for Muddy Foot or Tie Field Choice, those come from the crit versions of making the Long Bottom Leaf, Rush Light, South Lynch, or Sweet Lavia. So basically, the rare seeds for the next tier always come from the rare or the critical combines for the previous tier. So if I want the Muddy Foot and Typhoid Choice Field seeds, I need to be able to get them from the crit versions of the Apprentice. Then if I go down to the Expert and I look at Pipeweed, if I want Dragon's Breath or Roper's Twist, I have to get those from the crit versions of the Journeyman tier. Um, so that's kind of how this works. So you can always make the base recipes. So just for the purposes of trying this look quick, let's see, let's make five of the Sweet Lobelia and let's see if we can get a crit version for the next tier. If we can't, it's no big deal. But I just wanted to show people what it looks like. All right, let's go ahead and harvest these. I might not get any. You never know. But even if we don't, it's all good because we can show you how to take this and create the actual pouches of tobacco. All right, I did not get any from that, so let's go over here and go to the workbench. And now we can take this, uh, um, the sweet labellia crop, and we can turn it into pouches of sweet labellia pipeweed. We can just make one of those if we want to at the moment. Or we could choose to make all of them, but I've just created four pouches of sweet Lobelia pipeweed. Now, of course, I'm only dealing with the first three tiers of the pipeweed that's available uh, for the farming profession because I only have the first three tiers because this is a brand new character. Obviously, the deeper you get into this, the more options you get, the cooler animations you can find, and so on and so forth. You can also find smoking animations which don't have an actual timer on them you just kind of sit there and puff away at your pipe until the time uh, that you jump or move or do something and if i remember correctly smoke one smoke one is you choke on your pipe <laughs> let's do i have smoke two no so there are various smoke animations that you can earn in the game as well um the thing i really like about this is obviously some people will say oh it's you know it's, it's telling people that it's okay to smoke tobacco. It's like, well, on the one hand, maybe, yes. But at the same time, Tolkien was well known for his love of tobacco. And I, I can remember growing up um, reading The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings. The copies that I read when I was, you know, five, six, seven, eight. I did read, I read The Hobbit when I was five, and then I jumped into Lord of the Rings. I didn't understand it that well, but I did read it when I was six years old. Um you know, on the back of the book was a cover uh, image of 
Tolkien standing it's a side kind of a side profile of him kind of laughing and smoking a pipe and that was one of the things that they took and I thought they did a very good job of when they did the movies there's two moments in the movies that stand out to me more than any others um, when it comes to um, the uh, pipe smoking in the movies the first and my favorite is when we're introduced to strider or aragorn in the prancing pony in brie as barley and butter is explaining to the hobbits you know it's that shire he's, he's a dangerous fellow you know and the camera pans over to him and you see him taking a long draw from his pipe and the tobacco in the bowl flares up and it kind of illuminates his face within the hood when i first saw that in theaters i had goosebumps it was one of the coolest moments of the movie um but then the other part i love and i i can't for the life of me remember and I haven't watched the movies in about a year we usually watch them once a year extended editions only ladies and gentlemen i haven't seen the theatrical versions since the theater um i'm pretty sure it's in the fellowship of the ring there's a moment when gandalf is um, standing on the balcony with pippin and they're looking out towards mordor and the the coming battle and gandalf kind of <laughs> kind of chokes on his pipe um, and then there's also the moment when Gandalf is in Frodo's home in the first movie, in the Fellowship of the Ring, and he's sitting there, you know, smoking his pipe and muttering to himself and uh, thinking about the One Ring and and etc. Um, Riddles in the dark, uh, you know. There's but there's plenty of homage to uh, tobacco in the movies themselves, and they've taken those same kind of footnotes from the novels and chosen to put that into the Lord of the Rings online. But it is, of course, just a fun little roleplay thing. It doesn't have any effect on your character. It doesn't affect your stats or anything like that. It's just a little roleplay thing that you can do if you choose to. And again, you can find it through questing. You can find it through farming. We'll enjoy one more quick little smoke before we wrap up this video. And as we're doing that, I'd like to thank everybody for following along. Hopefully you guys enjoy the videos that I'm doing in Lord of the Rings Online. Uh, it's been fun. I haven't played in a while. There's a ship. What did I just smoke? I don't know which one I just smoked. Was it this one? I wasn't paying attention. I just chose to smoke one. I hadn't seen that one before. Um, I hope you enjoy the videos that I'm doing for Lord of the Rings Online. Um, I've been enjoying this game. I've played it on and off since launch. I've got a bunch of high-level characters. Uh, but this is something new because I wanted to try the free-to-play version. It is that one. So that is the Galenis pipe weed. We're going to move that over here because that was really kind of a cool kind of animation that I haven't seen from the other ones. So the triple smoke and then the, the ship one. That's pretty awesome. Stick around for more. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon. So on and so forth. Streaming Lord of the Rings Online periodically throughout the week. I was streaming in the mornings, but recently I'm streaming at nights because I am playing with my brother now because he decided to join me. Um, we're experiencing Lord of the Rings Online for the very first time on the free-to-play version. We've always played the... Um, subscription version in the past this is the first time we've tried the free-to-play version and we're experimenting to see how we like it so stick around and hopefully you enjoy for those of you who are going to be following the stream as we continue on thank you very much but for those of you who are watching this episode as one of the standalone episodes thanks so much for tuning in hopefully you'll watch the other videos and follow along live and i will see you in the next episode so stay healthy stay safe and have fun gaming in whatever game you're playing until next time, cheers.